and it can't be that because um, that, 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 that someone is enjoying uh, a, a sexual life that they are prostituting. You have to understand that, right? Um, and I think that we've been raised to, 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 to that, 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 that thing uh, more that, he, um, that, 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 that men can do whatever they want and that if women do, then they are loose. This is not, that's, that's, that's a completely wrong narrative. Here at the CBD, we're having the match against uh, femicide. We are saying hashtag end of femicide in Kenya, and we have Eric Oinena with us. Karibu sana. Thank you, Shiko. It's good to be here. Uh -huh. It's important for us to stand up as men for uh, stand up against the femicide that's been happening. Stand up for our sisters, for our mothers, for our cousins, our our, our daughters. Uh -huh. um, it just has to end. This the this way of uh, this 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 sort of new spate of violence. Uh -huh. It has no place in Kenyan society at all. And uh, you know it's beautiful to see men joining in the match and uh, I would I want to hear from you because a lot of uh, people online especially have been uh, probably thinking each time a man heal. Do you think the issue is uh, mental illnesses about uh, with everything that is happening? Oh, um, well, I definitely think there's a lot of mental illness going around and a lot of stuff that we need to talk about but it's no justification for, for violence. Um, I think, uh, like my wife always says, where will we learn democracy if in the house the father is always right, if at school the teacher is always right, if in church the pastor is always right. Um, so we just need to, we need to learn how to... Um, first of all, I think some of these relationships are very extractive, you know. People are getting killed because they're not uh, are giving sexual favors or anything like that. This is not how things work. And uh, we need to make men understand that, that women, are, women are equals, women can lead, and we can, I mean, I, I, some of those things that I'm saying, them, but they are so obvious to me, I don't understand why it's such a problem for, for men to understand that. There is no superiority over women, and if we can get that into our heads, then we won't have to do this, and there wouldn't have to be people dying. You mentioned uh, sexual favors, and the debate online is that uh, probably ladies are dying, uh, looking for money, or rather are getting killed and looking for that money. Do you think men are taking advantage of the economic states of our women? Oh my goodness, I mean, um, okay, first of all, I don't even know how much I want to go into that. Uh, um, do I think that men are taking advantage of... Well, I, uh, I, first of all, I don't think that women are doing what men are saying, you know. I don't think that, that women are there like, okay, I'm going to sell my body because times are tough. Times have been tough and continue to be tough, you know. Um, if we want to talk about the fact that, that, that we, are, we are having more mature sexual conversations and that the women are being much more free about talking about sex, we can have that conversation. But it's not that women are out there selling themselves, you know. Um, I, th I think that... Uh, I, th I think that we, we just we just need to be careful and not not approach this thing with with um with with too much judgment, right? Uh, I'm talking about how how young people are addressing issues of of, of, of sex and sexuality right now, um, and it can't be that because um, that, that 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 someone is enjoying uh, a, a sexual life that they are prostituting. You have to understand that, right? Um, and I think that we've been raised to, 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 to that, 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 that thing, um, or that, he, um, that, 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 that men can do whatever they want, and that if women do, then they are loose. This is not, that's, that's, that's a completely wrong narrative. Let's talk about the video that went viral yesterday, because we had some women at Jivanji who are protesting against femicide. But we had uh, these two men who are now against uh, the match, and they say, Wanaume pia wanaumia kwenye mikondo ya kinadada au wanawake. And uh, you know, uh, they said something that they'll continue killing women. You saw that video? I did see the video. Um, those two men are not representative of, of, uh, of men in general. I would, I would like, and I would like to, to encourage any young man, any old man, any, any man who's seen that, right? Let, don't take that as an example. I think there's a lot of violence in the way people are speaking. Um, uh, uh, people in leadership positions, people at home, etc. There's a lot of there's a lot of matusi and violence in, in, in the way we speak. But that is not what being a real man is about. And um, I, I just I just maybe I'll even look at the camera and tell your people, um, young men at home, 
don't believe that thing. That is not how men are. That's not how true men are. True men talk, true men negotiate, um, and true men understand that women are equal to men. Uh, Eric, your music has been uh, like the unofficial Kenyan anthem in terms of helping with activism, help, uh, uh, like for example your song Inchi Akitu Kidogo. Do you think the government and the entire criminal justice system, uh, that is the uh, police, uh, the judiciary, are doing enough to make sure these cases and uh, victims get justice and, and uh, the perpetrators go to jail? I don't think enough is being done uh, to make sure that the perpetrators of this kind of violence are being, are being dealt with accordingly. Uh, I think Bonnie made a very good point about uh, a case that happened at some, um, somewhere in, in the country and the people went off scot-free and up, uh, up until the uh, sort of uh, uh, the efforts of activists like Boni were, were, was any attention paid to it. Um, we have to be much more serious about about um, uh, punishing sexual crime and, and, and violence against women. Um, and it needs to be clear that no one can get away with it. No one is above the law, um, and that, uh, that, 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 no, that no sacred cows. And uh, maybe talk to, looking at the cameras, please talk to uh, men and also women. Um, women, I encourage you to continue speaking for your rights. Um, uh, this society cannot, it cannot function without you. It sounds like such an obvious thing to say. I believe that women should be in positions of power. Um, I believe that, uh, that, that women should take the lead in the house as well. It's the best idea that wins. Uh, mutual respect, mutual understanding, um, and, and, and we can work out any problems that need to be worked out. To men? To men, um, be careful about the role models that we choose. Uh, the loudest voices that we're seeing on the media all the time are not necessarily the voices that we should be listening to. Um, be guided at all times by by by, by justice and, 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 and by love. Um, that's all I can say. Thank you so much, Eric, and thank you for showing up. Thank you, my pleasure. Thank you, thank you for coming.